So what are your challenges as a gender mainstream specialist in Afghanistan? What kinds of work do you try to do there? Um, first of all, the two major challenges that in Afghanistan women are a victim of it. One is security, the other is uh, culture. We have different culture in Afghanistan, which uh, more uh, women abusing and sacrificing their life because of the cultures. We have, uh, we don't have a culture like I have seen it here. It's not similar in here and somehow. It's completely different culture. And some points, people say and believe that it's come from Islam, but it's not related to Islam issue that people are treating with the women in my cultures. And the second thing is security. Security is also is a major problem for women. Women sacrifice their life. Women is the person that if she she lost her son, she's when she lost her uh, father, she lost her husband. She's the more victim of these all uh, victim of the war in the country because she's a mother, she's a sister, she's a uh, her wife. All the the problems again she has to treat with lives with the problem from the from the culture with the problem with the from security woman has to treat with which is very difficult very difficult in my cultures in some point we accept islam as we are muslim we accept the things that we have it in our islam we have enough right in islam that's why we, we stand for to ask for our rights. We say that, yes, let's give us the rights that Islam gave us. Islam allows us to, to, to be educated. Islam allows us to go, like, uh, to be part of the community. But sometimes we feel that our culture ignore our existence in community. That's why we are, we are asking and we don't have any door to knock it for it. And we have to make a woman union and call them that let's become together and work to mainstream ourselves in the social life and to integrate women in different aspect of life. That women in Islam, women has right to, to vote it. Woman has right to uh, raise her wives. Woman has right to choose your life partner. Woman has right to get education. A lot of rights, according to Islam, we have. But unfortunately, unfortunately, to say that our culture do not like consider of the Islam is what Islam says. This is, this is the biggest problem, the major problem in our country. Can women come forward, women who feel that they are uh, being treated unfairly or that the culture is condoning violence, do they feel safe in coming forward? Does your union give no. them a way to do that? No, no way. That if women uh, treat with a lot of abuse, with a lot of treats, which is maybe hurted, or maybe a uh, woman feel that they are abusing, different abuse, but because of the culture, never they can they can uh, share this this uh, this things with the media, no, not with even with the other community that they they are existing in the country to support them. There are a lot of like a, a um, human commissioner. Uh, uh, independent human commission now in Afghanistan working for human rights. For example, now we have uh, Ministry of Women Affairs in the country. We have a law, but as the culture aspect, women cannot go. Women can. It's a big shame. Even she will lose herself. They will kill if she she come and complain because of someone treating, because someone abusing, or the families. No. She cannot. 
What can your organization do to create a safe space so that women can come forward? Uh, my organization, and generally, we are good. And generally, we are good because uh, uh, maybe we have some problems, and women has some problems there as well <coughs> as the other. And generally, as I said, we we are in problems, but uh, compared to the other organization or compared to the generally the state of the uh, country, we are good. Because uh, at least out of uh, 200 or more than 200 men, we have um, 236 female that working with the ministry. And as well, they have good position there. And now we are, uh, our ministry know that there as a, as a department that they support women. And we have support from the Ministry of Women Affairs that we have something in law, in our law, uh, that legally, legally we can ask for our rights. But who can go to ask for the legally rights? It's important. Me, if I face with some problems, never I can go to ask legally to solve my problems. So there are laws on the books that protect you, yeah. but being able to exercise those yes. rights is a cultural who, problem. Who will, who will go for some of the few women uh, may go and ask for their rights, may they ask for their rights to, to prove and themselves. But what will be happen with her for tomorrow? No one can guarantee that. No one can guarantee in my country. People will not see her in a good manner. They will say that, oh, she's the woman that stand and like for her to ask for rights. And rights, you know, we call the rights, uh, like we believe on Allah, we are Muslim and believe this right things has come from our Allah and right name of Allah. Right is not a gift that someone gives to someone. We should fight for it. We should try to, to, to have rights. It's take, I think it's take more time to, to reach in this stage. In our women's movement here, when I was working with our, our victims in the media program, so often the problem was blaming the victim, putting the responsibility for sexual violence uh, on the woman, for example. When they would report on cases of sexual assault, they would often say she was wearing a short skirt or she was wearing a see-through blouse, as if somehow to suggest that she invited the sexual attack because of the way that she was dressed. We as Americans have often looked at things like wearing the hijab and wearing the burqa in your country as the Taliban imposed as a way of displacing male responsibility for sexuality onto the woman, saying that she's responsible for the male's behavior, that how she dresses is the thing that can be blamed if there is a sexual assault. How do we change that attitude, especially when women often criticize other women? Mm -hmm. Criticize for? Criticize for if the woman is the victim of a sexual mm -hmm. assault. If mm -hmm. They say it's her fault. Mm -hmm. She should have behaved differently. Um, as a uh, point of my view, we are Muslim and we know the, the, the concept of the dress up, dress up of the woman, that why women should dress up and cover her body. We believe that Muslim or believe that when we cover our face to prevent from this uh, cheating of the man. If I'm a cover, I know man will respect me and will not look with the eyes that they seeing or they looking to the woman that is she is more. Uh, not like uh, seductive or maybe what uh, walking how how I can say the word that you're like without uh, clothes of clothes or this so we we believe that it's according as, as as I'm a woman as I'm a Muslim and Afghan woman 
I say yes, women should cover. Doesn't woman, that put the... not like a bokra, huh? not a bokra, okay. scarf or the dress that we have it or Islam allow us, it's good, not bokra. bokra. Bokra is not related to Islam. Bokra, it doesn't come from Islam. Bokra is the, the negative cultures, the negative culture that come from other to us. No, we do not have bokra in Islam. We have hijab, we have scarf. Our uh, Prophet Muhammad or our uh, women in Islam, during the Islam, they cover their face. They don't wear bokra. We do not have bokra in, in our Islam, in our culture. Just to prevent some of the women or some of the few people that they did something wrong, therefore they put, they, they just stay, it's, Bukhra become a custom for, for these peoples. It's not generally Bukhra is a custom of our peoples. Is a position like yours and the groups that you work with, is this an indication that the Afghani women are uh, getting engaged in a liberation movement in their country, that they are eager for change, that they want to see changes? And if so, what changes does your group work for? Oh, as I said, uh, we want to uh, at least just integrate women in different aspects of life. Give them their basic rights, which is the basic need of the human to access to education, access to the, to the uh, first uh, health care, health services, access to have participation in the community, and the, the, the time that the people or the community elder making decision. We, we wanna just have women in this stage because we, we now we are facing with a lack of education in country. It, it has very bad effect of, on the progress or improvement of the country. We do not have enough uh, qualified women recently in the country. If we fight for the, to have a good position to integrate women in the good or high or the senior position. But in back we are looking, we do not have qualified women. We, we have to work for their capacity building, to build their capacity, to provide them facility to access in the basic need of their life. What about reproductive rights for women? Do women have access and control over their own decisions about birth control and abortion? No. Is that part of your agenda? Um, when you talk about health services for women? Uh, yes. We, we do not have enough, uh, like a woman, or I can say in the family, as we have different family structure. We have different family structure. Even father or mother, they cannot uh, make a decision that how many kids they should have it. It's in some family, it's belong to the grandmom or grandfather or the father-in-law and mother-in-law. They're deciding that how many kids my, my, my daughter-in-law and son should have in the future. Or sometimes people believe that as much as we can, we, we, we should have kids. But according to the Islams, again I'm coming in my Islam spine. So when we are uh, have growing the kids, we should consider that this kid, kids is father or mother or the parents of the future. We should think about their educations, their knowledge, their lives, their, their economic problems. When I have more kid, children, we should think about the more resource of income for them. So, and unfortunately, again, the same as other problems, we have this problem in the country. But in some city, it's a little bit changed. Women can decide it as they are working outside. The women that are, they are educated, they are working outside the homes, they are uh, 
like a social woman or I can say the uh, community workers. So now they are in stage that they can decide and make a decision that how many kids they should have or they shouldn't. In your uh, position, do you also work on the rights of lesbian and transgen transgendered women? I didn't get You're talking about being a mainstream gender mm -hmm. specialist. Mm -hmm. What about the rights of lesbian women and transgendered women? Uh, transgender means those people who grow up believing that they are in the wrong gender for their body. Some make a decision to have surgery to change their gender, oh, and some do not. No way, no way. We, we cannot talk about these things. And even we do not have uh, this rule and policy or uh, structure in our uh, policies. We do not have this, this, this. Um, so your discussions of gender no, 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 no. are we only in have, terms of male and female. Yeah, just only uh, the aim that, yeah, the aim that we have it, how to integrate women how to give them opportunity to involve in the community more for both gender, what gender talking about. It's the role and the responsibility of male and female in community, not only women, but why we targeted women in our community. But as, as I said before, it's more a victim of these two things that major problem in war and, and uh, culture. Because of that, we are targeting women. But gender, gender is not talking about the, these uh, things that change the woman as biologically things. No. What about lesbian women? No. Just we are talking about their position, their role, their activities, their responsibilities in the community. How to integrate the woman? How to, like, uh, uh, support them in the, their social life? How to bring positive change it, it's not positive change. we are thinking always to how to bring positive change in a country so you would view positive change as exclusively heterosexual male female relationships not female female no 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 we do not have these things and islam it's, as you know that my country is islamic republic yes we do not have in our law these things if uh legally it's a crime it's a crime. How is it prosecuted? What kind of penalties are there? Oh, I didn't get penalties. If it's against the law, what happens to somebody? Oh, uh, there is a punishment for them. Maybe for going to jail. Uh, different, different punishment for this type of things in country. What kinds of specific programs do you have for women that you're trying to uh, change their lives? Um, as I said, as I mentioned, women have been in a corner of the room in my country. They have been there for a long time. Just we want to take their hands and provide them opportunity. How do you do that? To access to education, through awareness, to train male, not female. Oh, okay. So you focus on educating men. Educating men. And how do you do that? We haven't been very good about that in our culture. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you like, that. <laughs> as an, as an, as an, a fresh example, last month uh, I conduct gender training for men. As I know that uh, before when I was first time, uh, I conduct gender training for female, and after evolution of this training, I, I didn't find good impact and good, good feedback of the training. Because if women know, this is my right, if she doesn't have support from her man, so she cannot do, it, she cannot do anything. I believe, or uh, the woman like me, in my country, we believe that in a state of awareness program for female, let's conduct this training for male. And was very good because one of the head of the department the, that he is working with the ministry that now I'm working with, he said that after training, he said that 
I am requesting as a male, please conduct this training for the rest of the other male that they are working with organization. Because after one week, he said that I change. I change. And I'm seeing in me that uh, I have a lot of change. So means it, it has good effect to have or conduct this awareness program to the male. And especially what we are doing, uh, fortunately, we have enough uh, information, we have enough uh, source of information in, uh, through our Islamist, Islamic books, which is Quran, Hadith. So we refer to these books and we refer to these documents and source. And our people believe more on Islam. Are they required by somebody for their job to come to your training or do they sign up because they want to come to your training? Uh, yeah, so when I joined the organization, so I found that uh, no one, when the Department of the Gender News, newly established it, and everyone come and say, oh, there is a gender department. What is a the gender? They thought that only gender specific talk about the woman is right. And they say the same point that you just uh, uh, outed that maybe uh, they are uh, the, they are just emphasizing on women's right, just they are pushing women to stand behind like an, an opposite of the male. They had different thought. And I found during the lunch time that we had discussion with the female and they say, oh, there is a lot of male think, thinking difference. So therefore, just we, we decided to conduct a gender training and we call the gender focal points uh, within the ministries, the different departments. Unfortunately, uh, we have a different uh, position, which is like we call gender focal point. Male and female are working both in these uh, positions. So we call all, and we had uh, male and female. We trained male and female, and after uh, training, uh, I got a feedback, positive feedback, that uh, male says that it was more affected, positive impact had on male. That's why we decided to have more training for the male, and male requested that if we can conduct more training for the male rather than female. Is part of your outreach to police to try to make it more possible for women who are the victims of domestic assault and sexual assault to be able to go to the police for help? Um, Is yeah, that part some of your case, mandate? Uh, some, some cases, uh, no, it's not part of my scope of work. Okay. It's not part of my scope of work. But generally I can help it because as a social uh, worker, or as a poor Afghan woman, uh, because I have uh, 16 years experience only working for the women's right or the gender issue in my country. So I can do this, I can help. But as again, the cultural problems, I know if we help women today and what will happen for her tomorrow, I have this image as well with me that what will be happen for her tomorrow. So we have different way of different methodology how to treat with these things. We are using the according to the culture. I'm married. I have six kids, uh, two daughters, four sons. Um, I'm originally from eastern region of Afghanistan, but graduated in Kabul, studied in Kabul. Um, I have lovely life. Uh, uh, very, I'm very happy with my life. My marriage was arranged marriage, <laughs> but we believe that the families uh, and the parents are deciding and making decision for their kids. It sometimes it has good effect. Um, that's all. You've had an opportunity to have an education yourself, which not many women in your country yeah. can also have. What would you like to see for your two daughters when they are your age? How would you like their lives to be different? Uh, 
as uh, when I was in schools and when I just graduated, I, I was in a school that I had opportunity to attend uh, an English language course in Kabul. Uh, that was free scholarship because of my position in the schools. I had good grades in schools. My parents didn't allow me, especially my father said, no, you cannot go because you are a girl. And then uh, now I will never say this to my daughters. But we have limitation. We have our own limitation. Where my daughter should go, even last year or on 2009, beside of other, a lot of tasks, a lot of activity that I, I supposed to finish it. So beside that, because of my daughter, we took the same courses, English language course. That my daughter, I, I, I feel that, and I, I got that my, I, I found that my daughter, she wants to learn English. To, to learn and has a diploma in English language. So I went for her. I gave my time for her, and I spent money for her to improve her knowledge. So I will not do the things that my parents do. But in somehow, like for the their uh, future life, and uh, to have, to choose their life partner, it will be decided from both sides, from me and from them. Never I will decide it by my own. This thing is good for my kids and they should follow it now. I will just recommend good things and will say this is a good for you, this is a positive point, this is a negative and will listen to them.